Our severe weather risk as we head through tonight shows an enhanced risk of severe weather across the northern parts of central Texas. The rest of us in a slight risk of strong to severe thunderstorms. And if we see thunderstorms tonight, we could see a couple of isolated tornadoes, but that's only two out of a 10. Four out of 10 for hail could be some sizable hail, but again, we are going to have to see these develop and not everyone will be seeing these. I think wind will be the main threat. Five out of 10, maybe some 60 to 70 mile per hour winds and the strongest of storms and the possibilities for some localized street flooding, maybe some creek flooding as well. But that's if thunderstorms develop. Some models say yes, others say no, but this one's saying yes as we head through the early morning hours on Thursday. So we will be tracking that very closely for you as that line makes its way through the area. Like I said, there are other models that keep us dry tonight, so not everyone will see shower and thunderstorm potential. We get into our Thursday afternoon, maybe a few more thunderstorms developing to our northwest, and those will be moving through as we head into Thursday night going into Friday morning. So scattered showers and thunderstorms, that potential will continue over the next 48 hours, but it won't rain on you every day, but we could see some of those storms around from time to time. So your 10 day forecast showing a 50 50 shot of thunderstorms as we head into Thursday, Friday, 60% chance of thunderstorms, 78 degrees. I think our severe weather threat will be lower on Friday. Saturday could be a couple of showers in the morning, but we may clear out into the afternoon and we may squeeze out a nice weekend, kind of bookending it here between storm systems. So Saturday and Sunday looking pretty good. And then more thunderstorm activities possible as we head into next week. Keep it right here on First Alert Central Texas. I'm Chief Meteorologist Matt Hines.